So before we continue, here we I added this app CSS. I added this inside quotes, and that was a mistake. You had to add only these values right uh, without the quotes. Then I'm going to add Gulp SAS. This will compile the SAS task. And you can see we have something like this. Of course, at the moment we haven't seen anything about SAS. You don't have to worry for this syntax. There is a whole chapter about SAS in the next well, the next chapter. So let's continue working and we're going to install a new dependency. I'm going to open the terminal. And right here I'm going to add npm install save dev this will save the dependency into the package.json and the name is going to be browser sync and if you haven't used browser sync believe me this will change the way that you work in web design hit enter and this may take a while so let's wait until it finishes installing and let's open the package.json and now you can see that browser sync is installed as a dependency. So next I'm going to open the goal file. Here on the top I'm going to add bar and I'm going to add browser sync equals to require browser sync. So this way we are importing browser sync into the goal file and I, you can create a task using this browser sync. Also, we're going to add another variable called reload and browser sync comes with this reload method. And I'm going to add browser sync that reload. So this is a method that exists in browser sync. So let's create this task and I'm going to add the task right here, goal dot task. Then you give it a name and I'm going to call this one serve because browser sync will create a server for us and right after this comma you can add a task that you want to execute first and i want to execute sas first so we add a comma function and then the body of the function and maybe you are asking why you added sas first than browser sync and this is because if you added something in the app CSS this will compile the SAS and then we'll start the server so let's add something like this this will be this will be a little different we're gonna add browser sync that init and this will initialize browser sync and here you need to add which files you want to to check or you want to make make that browser sync is checking for you and one thing that I, I really like to do is to create two variables for example one source paths equals to an object and another one called app path equals to another object so in the source paths we point all the files that exist here on the src folder on the app path we point all the files that exist in the app folder so for example i can add something like sas source equals to single quotes src uh, slash scss slash and i'm going to be using the asterisk and scss and this asterisk means that any file with this extension so the file may be called app scss style that scss it doesn't matter this asterisk will check for any file that that exists in this folder so this is the sas source and i'm going to add css right here css and in an object is not equal this the like this and here i'm going to add app slash css 
So here I want to change the destination and I can remove this. And I can add app path, then a dot CSS. So this will print this right here. So we have this app path, and then with a dot, we access this property. Also, I'm going to remove this. Remove this, and I'm going to add source paths, then a dot, then SAS source. So this will be better because we have two, these two variables that we can use in all the different tasks that we are running. And right here in the browser sync in it, I'm going to add parentheses and square brackets. And I'm going to add app path that CSS. And I'm going to add a plus sign. And I'm going to listen for all the CSS files. Because we have this app that is that CSS, but maybe we want to add more libraries, maybe we want to add Boostra, Foundation, Animate CSS or something like that. Then I'm going to create a new path and I'm gonna call this one, it's going to be here, root, and I'm gonna call this one app. So we have something like this. And then we add a comma, app path, then we add a dot, root, a plus sign, so we concatenate these values. And inside single quotes we add slash, that HTML. So browser sync will initialize any HTML file that we have there. Of course, at the moment we don't have anything. We're gonna create a file in just a little. And finally, I'm gonna add a comma. You need to add a comma here, a comma here. And I'm going to add a JS folder or a JS variable, app.js. Then we add a comma right here, app path dot js then we add the plus sign that js so this will listen for any javascript file that you add to your project then we add a comma and open the curly braces and here we're going to be using a, a method called server and then we add base dir this is everything this init, this server, this base dir are from browser sync. So I'm going to add app path, then root. So this will initialize browser sync in this folder. I'm going to create a new file called index.html. And I'm going to add HTML. And here I'm going to add h1 hello from my workflow or something like that. Then finally I'm going to add a golf file. From here I'm going to add a comma and I want to execute the serve task. So you can move this right here. And you can remove the SAS task since this will run SAS. So I can remove this. And I'm going to add golf. And you can see right here we have SAS, then we have SERP, and then we have default. Thanks to this order, because we have SAS created. But when we run SERP, SAS has to run right here. And when we run default, SERP is running, SERP is calling SAS, and so on. So this, this way we can link different tasks between each other. So you can see now we have SAS, serve, and default. And you can see that we have these access URLs with this local host and this IP. So for example, you can use this local host to open your project in, in your computer. But if you want to check your project in your cell phone or in your tablet or share this project, with another person that is in the, in the same Wi-Fi connection, you can give this person this URL and this will open the same as this local host. So this way you can, for example, have your tablet and your phone and you can preview how this site is, lo this site is looking in those devices. And 
it's going to be better because that way you don't have to upload everything to a web server in order to make all the tests so this is great and this is thanks to browser sync and now you can see it says serving files from app so i'm going to make a change here and i'm going to show you something really cool for example if i remove this and save you can see that browser sync reloads the page so you don't have to move to the page and reload uh, browser sync does this for you so you only have to save and it's working and let me add the the style sheet so i'm going to add link rel and i'm going to add only link link and it's going to be css app css so i'm going to open the app css and from here maybe you want to change the background color to red you can save and you can see that it's not working you need to close this and reload in order to make this work the html is, is working but the app in the sas is not working so in the next video we're gonna take a look at something called watch that we listen for all the changes that we make into this project so see you in the next video